In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can create and sell Canva templates to generate income online. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another video where I teach you how to create and sell digital products using online business tools. Canva templates make for a great digital product because they are fairly easy to use and there's already a market of people that are looking for Canva templates. If you need a few ideas on what type of Canva templates that you can create, just head over to Etsy and search for Canva templates and you will see a variety of Canva templates that people are already selling to make money online. Now just a quick note here, I don't want you to think just because someone else is already making Canva templates and selling them that you can't do it. I'm here to tell you that you can, there's a room for all of us in this space. Canva is free to use, however, in order to generate the template link that you would need, you actually need to have a Canva Pro account. Canva Pro is normally about $12 a month, which I think is very affordable. And when you really think about it, the income potential of creating and selling Canva templates outweighs the cost of using Canva Pro. Plus, you get access to additional features as a Canva Pro user. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, I will leave a link down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and jump into my Canva dashboard so I can show you how to create your templates. So for this tutorial, I am going to create a workbook template. So from the Canva homepage, you want to go to the top, select create a design. We're going to search for US letter document. So it opens up into the Canva editor. And just for the sake of this video, I'm only going to create two pages of the workbook just to show you how easy it is to add elements to create and design your template. And before we get started, I just want to quickly mention that you cannot create a template from an existing Canva template. So you cannot take an existing template that's like over here and just make a couple of changes and try to sell it as your own. You are not able to do that because that actually goes against Canva's license agreements in terms of use. So make sure that you are aware of that before you start creating your templates. So the first page of the workbook that I want to create is the cover page. I'm actually want to add a photo grid and a title section. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to scroll down until I find grids, add a grid and just adjust it a little bit. And by adding a photo grid, this allows the customer to upload their own photos to the template. You can add a stock photo to your template as a way just to show customers what it looks like, but you cannot sell it with the stock photo. Next, I'm going to add a background for my title. I'm going to use the square option here, and I'm just going to drag it here. And as you can see, you can just click on elements and then just drag them into place. I'm going to change the color. I like this color. And to add the title, I'm going to go back over here to the left, go click on text and add a header. Canva does offer some combinations that if you want to use those. Now keep in mind that some of the elements are pro elements, which means if you use a Canva pro element in your template design, and if your customer does not have a Canva pro account, they will need to pay to use that Canva pro element. This may cause some issues for your customer or cause your customer to have a bad experience. So I usually recommend that you only use free elements in your Canva template design. So I'm just going to add a header and you can just drag the edges out to increase the size. And then I'm going to go to the top and change the font. I'm also going to change the color to white. And as you guys, you see that um, it's very easy to do. You're just clicking and dragging. So I'm going to add a photo just to show you guys how it easy it is to add a photo for the customer. So I'm actually going to just type blog, select photos, and I'm going to use this photo. And I just drag and drop it in place. And that's what the cover page of the workbook will look like. Next, I'm going to add a worksheet page. So I'm going to click add a page. 
go back to elements, go back to my shapes, add a square, well actually add a rectangle. So I'm just adding a shape, adjusting it to how I want it to look, and then I'm changing it to the color. So I want the same color scheme throughout. And I'm actually just going to copy this because I've already created it, paste it, and I'm just going to change it to worksheet. So you see how simple that is? Or you can just copy what you've already done. And you can just keep copying and duplicating some of the elements that you've already created to help you design a little bit faster. So I'm going to add some text here. So I'm going to duplicate this and drag it down here. And then I'm going to add a couple of sentences. I just have some dummy text that I have on a notepad here. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Change the spacing a little bit. I also want to add a line and change the color of the line to white. You can also change the thickness of your line and you can also change the style of your line. Next, I'm going to add the question and answer section that for the worksheet. So I'm going to go over here to text to add um, some text here. This is going to be question one. Change the size a little bit. Also change to match the textile. I want to put a border behind this one. We're going to change this, make it small, put it here, and then change this to our color, and then change the font color to white. I'm going to use the shape option. When you're creating a workbook type of template, your shapes are going to be your best friend. Change the inside to white. I'm going to add a border and the border color is going to be this color. And that's how it looks. And once you have that, you can highlight everything together and just duplicate this. And let's see if I can fit one more. And actually let me move everything up. And you guys see how simple that was, right? And I can drag this out a little bit to change the size and I have my worksheet done, okay? So once you are done designing your template, the next step is to generate your template link that you will share with your customer. So to get your template link, you wanna go to the top and select share and click on template link. If you don't see template link when you click on the share button, you want to click on more and then you will be able to see it. So you click on template link and you want to copy this link. And the next step, I'm going to show you how to embed this link into a PDF because the PDF is what you're actually going to send and deliver to your customer. So back to the home page, you're going to hit create a design, go to US document letter again. Now, when you are designing your PDF, you can use a Canva template to help you design your PDF because you're not selling the PDF. You're only using the PDF as a way to deliver your template link. But I'm actually going to show you how you can create one from scratch to show you again how easy it is. So for this, I want my background to match the color of my template. Go back to elements. I'm going to add a square and just move it out and about. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Change this to white. I'm gonna add a header. And I'm just gonna say something like, thank you for your purchase. Duplicate this, I'm gonna just put workbook template. I'm also gonna add like a mock-up image so the customer can see what they purchased. So I'm gonna go over here to elements go to frames add a tablet so i'm going to go back to my template design and i'm going to just download this first page as a png page png download page one only and then i'm going to upload this into my canva design and then just drag and drop it into the frame. Next, you wanna make sure you add some text like a call to action to tell them how to access the template. So I'm gonna add some text here. 
And you want to just keep it simple, something like click the button below to access your templates. And then you can add a button. You can go to element, search button, change this to your color that you want to use. And next I'm just going to add text onto the button. Change the color so it stands out. And boom. And just like that, you have a PDF that is ready to be shared with your customer. Okay, so the next step is to link your template link or embed it into your PDF. So you want to highlight your text here. Go to the three dots at the top right hand corner. Select this little paperclip icon. It says link and then you paste your link. And then I like to remove the underline. And then I also like to link the button itself just for reassurance. Just because you never know where the customer may click. And now your template link has been added to your PDF. The next step is to download your PDF. So you go to the top, select share, select download, change the file type to PDF and select download. Okay. The next step is to upload to your online store. You can choose to use an e-commerce platform like Gumroad or Payhip or even Etsy. You can also choose to use a shopping cart system like Thrivecart. Once the customer makes a purchase, they will have access to the PDF. This is what the PDF looks like once the customer opens up the PDF. They can click on the link and it will open it up directly into Canva for them to access and edit their template. Okay, boss friends, so now that you know how to create and sell Canva templates, I want to know what Canva templates are you ready to start creating so you can generate income online? Don't forget to click the link down below in the description box to get your 30 days of Canva Pro for free. And if you want to learn some Canva tips and tricks, go ahead and check out this video right here. Until next time, bye.